Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Eureka Farms here in Farm Simulator 19 with me, Siwani. Today, I'm going to be doing some potato harvesting. Our potatoes are ready, so I brought the machine over, we're going to give it a go. Um, we've also still got matey down here doing field four, the plough. Um, there are quite a few bits that I need to go and address once he's finished that field. But also, I'm going to have a quick go with um, the core contractor mod again. Because, um, um, basically, I want to see what else it can do. It can't do harvesting, sadly. Uh, Ah, I was hoping I was going to be able to get to do the, um, I, I could have hired a contractor to come and do, um, some, um, harvesting for me. And whilst I was doing the potatoes, I would have had a chance to see whether or not it actually did it. Right, let's get the old GPS set up. Okay. So yeah, I was hoping I could have got the um, the guy doing either um, I suppose in the absence then of being able to use The absence of being able to use the core contractor mod to do some harvesting, we might as well just use the regular worker. And whilst I've still got this header attached, he can do the sunflowers for me on field eight, can't he? He's going to make a mess of the field edges. I know that much. And he does. harvesting I'm gonna be harvesting there we go boys and girls potatoes So potato. So these are going to go into our crisps factory, these potatoes, along with the sunflower oil that we're producing already. Um, hopefully there'll be enough sunflower oil produced at this stage to allow us maximum crisp production. Our harvester's racing away taking care of the sunflowers which will go into the sunflower factory obviously to replenish what we've used but I can de you can definitely see now why over on field um, 4 over there 
on deciding to plant grass on that field because the lime spreading of that field and now the ploughing of that field has taken forever. <laughs> of potatoes lots of potatoes being harvested so whilst we're harvesting potatoes let's have a chat shall we folks about what potential new crops could be in farming simulator 22 later this year what crops would you like to see in farming simulator 22 later this year you know let me know what is missing from the game currently that you would like to see um and obviously the equipment for harvesting that obviously that's going to give us a little bit more variety in what we do in the game i would definitely like to see a few more like proper crops you know that people grow and farm it farm and, you know again being based here in the uk a lot of things like carrots things like carrots cabbages you know all your sunday lunch crops all your sunday lunch vegetables i would like to see covered beans broad beans peas bit more been able to do a bit more on that kind of front that's what i would like to see come and obviously all the equipment for it So yeah, field eight is obviously sunflowers. This one is field nine is our um, potatoes. After the sunflower harvest, I'm probably going to put sugar beets on field eight um, because obviously I want to play with that sugar beet mod as well. We need to get some sugar beets going on this map, mm, but I don't want to do it on a massive, massive field. Makes me think Field 7, there's a possibility that, like I say, I might repurpose Field 7. It has been grass, but with Field 4 going to become our grass field, um, I'm thinking maybe Field 7 could become Sugar Beet Central for our farm. It's going to be fairly close to where we've got our machines. But making all the additional stuff um, that they need. I 
But yeah, potato harvesting. It's okay. It's, it's going all right. So, this machine is fine for it. I wouldn't have used any of the Grimmy DLC equipment because I just think it's too small and it would have took forever to do a field of this size. Whereas this machine, however realistic or unrealistic it may be, harvesting potatoes, it's going to do the job very quickly. Or as quickly as it can. Which I still think it's going to be a lot quicker than the, the Grimmy stuff. See, that's all in there. Let's have a look at potato. Yeah, because we've got the Grimmy stuff. Oh, one and a half meters, eight kilometers an hour. One and a half meters, eight kilometers an hour. Potatoes from the ground, one and a half meters, 15 kilometers an hour. 0.9 meters, 10 kilometers an hour. So, yeah, nothing's going to do. Nothing, none of that will do potatoes any quicker or more efficient than this. This is fantastic. <laughs> so, yeah. Sorry, potato fans out there, but I'm not interested in using any of that grimy DLC stuff ever. It's too small and it's too slow. That's what I would definitely like to see as well in Farm Sim 22. Much more variety in equipment, especially in sizes of equipment, you know. Don't just go all small stuff. We don't just want all small stuff. You know, give us some big stuff as well. Give us some medium sized stuff. You know. In every technology, every category, give us plenty of options in terms of equipment size. For those of, those of us that don't like hanging around and taking 30 hours to do a job, you know, give us some big meaty equipment. I don't mind if it's expensive. We'll, 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 pay, we'll pay for it. You know, we'll pay for it. With our in-game money. But at least give us the option. And if you're going to do DLC for Farm Simulator 22, don't release DLC that has already got equivalent, you know, equipment in the game. It's like, you know... I know it's different brands a lot of the time, and it's the brands more than anything. Like with the, the Rockney, the Rockney DLC that came out recently, but unfortunately with the Rockney DLC, when you've already got, you know, Scorpion Kings and stuff in the game, there wasn't really a need for any of that. You know, you might as well buy a Scorpion King still. So make sure if you're bringing out DLC from different brands that the DLC offers us something we can't currently do with the current in-game vanilla equipment. You know, make sure it's an addition to the vanilla catalogue. You know, not just a different paint job, <laughs> effectively. You know, just a, a reskin of a, a machine with a different manufacturer's badge on. You know, we don't want that. Or I don't want that. Because, you know, there's a lot of equipment that I just wouldn't use. <laughs> Looks like my uh, sunflower harvester has nearly finished that thing. What I might do is hand over to the worker. And if I go grab that harvester, I'm going to have to empty the hot uh, sunflowers, aren't oh, I? That's okay. Enter the sunflowers, put them in the factory. 
I mean, I've still got to finish off the field because obviously the guys missed the top and bottom. Edges. Didn't really want to drive all the way down there, did I? Need to have a bit of a look. Maybe it fixed. Just seeing if I can fix this header so it actually does go to the edges of the field properly. With the AI operating it. We've got 158,000 litres of sunflower currently in this machine. 158,000 litres. I'm not sure the sunflower factory is actually going to hold take all of that, which means... Probably save some. To the silo it will go. I didn't really need to drive that. All the way down there, did I? <laughs> I could have left it, the trailer up here. Because I was going to be bringing the harvester up here anyway. But we, we now have another field that potentially can be worked. see how much sunflower we can put into the sunflower factory what I'll probably then need to do is move the sunflower pallets if we've got any put them in the chip factory and then bring some potatoes yeah I've got I've got some sunflower oil there Full. very slow productions I must admit that's another f I mean that's another thing I'm not very happy about with these production factories um, they are incredibly slow they're generating products compared to say global company which you can fine tune a heck of a lot easier um, to change how much product gets output um, the factories mod is a lot more, how shall we say it, less flexible because, because of its interaction and it relies on the animal system, your limited, your production amount is limited by the actual animal mechanics in the game, the animal element of the game engine, and that's not as flexible to be able to, you can't increase your outputs on that as easily because if you start mess, trying to mess with the outputs of the factories you end up screwing up all the outputs of all the um, all the animals as well so you don't want to be doing that 
so it's not quite as easy to get loads and loads of stuff being produced. Now I seem to remember the fill point for this place, for the sunflower oil here, is round the back. I think it's about here. Right. Sunflower oil has been delivered. Right, let's go get the potatoes now then to put in there. And then our potato, our crisp factory will be up and running. Hopefully Mr. Potato Man is um, looks like he's, if I can get over there, he's actually heading down the right side of the field. Come on little tractor. Oh. the fastest harvester in the world but still I'd like to get to him before he gets to the bottom of the field and turns around he's halfway That's 185,000 litres of potatoes, folks. That's a lot. A lot of potatoes. We've got more potatoes than sunflower oil at this point. That could impact our production. Crisps going in, or potatoes going in, crisps coming out, hopefully. Let's have a look at the animals. Let's have a look. Flower factory, yep, we know that's producing fine. Sunflower oil, we do not have a lot of sunflower oil. In fact, we have only got 17,000 litres in there at the minute. Um, soy drink production is okay. I mean, that should really be banging out the um, sunflower oil. But it's not. Right, potatoes into the silo. Oh, 
take this guy back to the field. We won't need to empty the. Um, we won't need to unload the harvester till he's about. Till he's probably finished, I don't think. But what we can have a look at doing is calling a contractor to come and do something to field eight. What I'm just going to do while I'm here, I'm just going to quickly refill this truck, this tractor too. Because he's looking a little bit low. Right then, next element then is uh, pH value is bad. So we need to lime spread this field. And this is field eight, isn't it? Uh, we'll do the job within five hours. Charges a lot more for the, the, the job. But at least he's doing it. He's going to line that for me. Might as well have a run over here. Looks like there's plenty of product to be selling. You can see, look. I've got to do some little bits on the field edges. He's still got quite a few rows to do, this fella. Where is he <clears throat> currently? He's doing all right for fuel. Looks like he slowed down a bit. Or we need a repair on the machine. Or on the plow, probably. Do we? Yeah. Yeah, we need to repair that. She's doing all right. Oh, we've got plenty of potatoes. Um, I haven't seen anything pop up with field six yet. Um, I know we hired the contract. Tractor, but I've not seen any forty-seven thousand six hundred for sold vehicles. What really? No, that was yesterday. That was yesterday. Uh, animal upkeep thirty-three thousand. Property maintenance thirty dollars. Property income for sold milk. Fuel costs. Harvest income, biogas income, wage payments, uh, not seen anything pop up yet to um, show me what 
is happening with this called contractor mod. I'm guessing the next thing to do is maybe get Mr. Harvester. Drop the header off. Equip it with another header. With the, one of the um, corn headers. One of the uh, normal headers should have sang. Not my lovely 60 foot header, definitely not. I'm not having that one. <laughs> it's going to need fuel, so we ought to refuel them. if he's got enough fuel left in him actually to refuel the entire harvester but we'll see the harvester is refueled excellent work right, looks like we're only 20% left Do a bit of a repair job while we're here. There we go. Four men. Harvester's repaired. Let's see about the header. Repaired. Job done. We can all be happy about that one. not actually used my wash station <laughs> have i we've not really been using that we haven't really used the electric tractor really in this save we might as well start a work of canola harvesting at this point I'm probably then going to have a quick run round off the camera, sell all the pallets in front of all the factories, get them all sold. Could probably do with getting a bigger trailer at some point as well for doing that. I'll let the worker do my canola harvesting for me. Goodbye, worker. You can do that. So, yeah, I've, I've employed two contractors to come and do two jobs for me. So I need to keep my eye on that and see if that happens. So definitely be sure to come back and join me in the next episode to see that, if that does happen. We're then going to be obviously planting some 
new crops. We're going to need to get field um, six reseeded with something. And then we're going to do field eight with sugar beets. Um, at the moment, I can't repurpose field seven until field four is done. So I can't do... I can't get rid of the grass field until we've we've got a grass field ready to um, take over from it. So yeah, I'm going to leave the episode here then, folks. Hope you've enjoyed it. I will see you all in the next video. Cheerio for now. <laughs>